Hi everyone, this is Garrison, Fire Kingdoms of War, and I'm coming to you with another terrain tutorial. This time I'm going to talk to you about field grass area terrain, which is very easily made from a coconut straw mat, and uh, which is you know available at a lot of hardware stores. Um, I know Ace Hardware Stores carries it, is where I got mine. Um, using uh, coconut straw, coconut fiber as uh, field grass or tall grass is nothing new. They've been doing it um, in historical wargaming for 30 years, so um, I'm not going to present, prevent, you know, pretend for a second that I'm inventing this, but uh, it's it has a nice effect to it. So um, anyway, I'm going to show you to make some field grass area terrain that looks something like this. Now, what I want to point out about this is I've got my spring or summer version, and I've got my winter version. All right, so hopefully you can see that okay. All right, and um, the other thing I want you to notice is these are actually individual elements on a terrain area board. This is actually uh, just a matting board or heavy cardboard. And then I can actually take these individual elements off, okay, like this, so that I can move figures into the area. All of this comes off whenever I want. I can reconfigure these individual elements on here however I want. All right, so I'll actually illustrate that. Uh, in the later part of the video. So these pieces go back on there like that. This is really easy to make. It's a really quick project, a really nice way to make some terrain for your board. Um, I consider field grass like this for war machine purposes concealment, not cover. It's not going to stop a bullet, but it is going to obscure a target, so it makes great concealing terrain. All right, so anyway, what you do is, uh, first of all, you get yourself a piece of cardboard um, or matting board as I've used here to be the base of your terrain and then for the end of it and then you cut out individual discs or irregular oval shapes like for this longer piece All right, the, the discs are for these smaller clumps of field grass you cut these out of heavy cardboard or matting board All right, and then you're going to use caulking to affix your coconut fiber but let's talk about coconut fiber first so anyway, at a lot of hardware stores, and I think discount stores sometimes carry them too, you will find these welcome mats okay, that look like straw, kind of their, their coconut fiber, right? And um, they make great field grass if you know how to like take them apart and what to do with them. Uh, now, what you do is you, uh, around the edge of these, is like a string that holds all the fiber in place. So you got to cut that string to get the fiber out. In fact, you can see on this corner, I've been you know digging at this for a couple of years, that you'll get a lot of field grass out of one of these welcome mats. So once you cut the string, then you can pull the fibers out. In fact, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I can actually pull the fibers out. That's going to become my field grass. All right, and there's another clump. And you can see I'm <laughs> these things will last you forever. You just one of these mats. Alright, so there's some I can get in there. Sometimes you gotta loosen them to pull them out, but it's really easy. There's a whole clump. Alright, so once you've got your, your field grass clumps off your coconut fiber mat, alright, now this is really kind of a U shape. I'm going to cut this so I get some of the fibers. Okay, let me actually zoom in a little bit there, show you this. Okay, so I'm going to cut this, and that way I've got some of the fibers kind of loose that I'm going to affix to my little cardboard stand. So now I've got the fibers, they're now loose on both sides. I'm going to embed those in a second. Okay, I'm going to cut a little bit more. What I usually do is I take out a bunch of fibers, and I cut them up, cut out the strands, okay, and then I um, make a whole bunch of these field grass elements at once. Alright, so again cut it. Okay, so that you've got loose strands. Okay, like that. Now, a bunch of different ways you could affix these to your cardboard base. You could do it with glue. Glue takes a while to set. Sometimes you gotta like prop them in place. Uh, I'm becoming more and more and more a fan of caulking for the purpose of terrain. So what I want you to do is I want you to have a caulking gun and some caulking. Figure out where I put mine. Okay, so a simple caulking gun with some caulking, which I've used in various projects on this channel if you've seen before. And you're going to want something to spread some caulking around. So um, popsicle stick. And I am also, just to add a little character, going to use my usual aquarium stones just to put around the base of uh, 
the field grass clumps. Hopefully you can see, you know, I've done that on here, just added some stone for character. So anyway, you take your little cardboard disc or oval shape, maybe like that, whatever you've cut out, you get your caulking gun ready. This stuff's always a little messy once it starts running, so be careful to have a place to put it down all right, where it's not going to run all over. Have paper towel or something all right, available. So I'm going to squirt a clump in the middle. That's where my field grass is going to go. I'm going to put a little extra disc of this or circle this around the outside. All right, I'm going to put my gun down. Now I'm going to take my coconut. This is so easy. I'm going to take my coconut fibers and I'm going to plant them right in there and they will this caulking will hold it upright okay and I'm going to be generous with the amount I put in there I have basically clumped all that coconut fiber in there now with my popsicle stick I'm going to take that extra caulking that's around the edge and I'm going to cover the rest of the disc there's a couple reasons we're going to do that um, but basically spread it around and cover your cardboard or your matting board in this case all right with that Okay, I got a strand loose. I'm going to pull that off and get rid of that. All right, now, this is a little messy at one point, but this stuff's not going to hurt you. So spread it around your desk, okay, as such. If your coconut fiber gets loose, just put it back in place. Now's the time. All right, and um, I've got my disc. I'm going to get a couple of, a, this is totally optional, a couple of little aquarium stones that I like. Okay, I'm going to um, embed them and the caulking around the edge. Okay, just whatever looks good to you. All right, like that. So I've put my stones in there. And now, and this was came from a someone who question, uh, had a question on the, a comment on the forums the other day. On one of my last videos, they asked, because uh, they noticed I apply glue to after the caulking after it dries, they said, can you just apply the uh, your sand texture, your dirt texture, which is for me my sand and kitty litter mixture, to the caulking rather than wait for it to dry and then apply white glue or whatnot? And the answer is I experimented and it was a good idea uh, to the poster who put that on the uh, YouTube comments. The answer is yes, because I've experimented and that's exactly how I did all of these. I applied the dirt texture directly to the white, the wet caulking. So it works out really well. So you, you get your sand and kitty litter mixture, which, or just sand for your dirt texture for your base. You put your, you put your uh, terrain element in there. Okay. Cover the base. Don't pull it up by the strands if you've set it down because you, they'll pull out at this point. They're not set yet. Okay. Dust off the extra. You got your clump of field grass. <sighs> Blowing some sand out of there. You get your clump of field grass with your dirt texture. All right, that is ready to go. That is how easy making field grass elements is. It doesn't get much easier than that. A little cardboard, a little caulking, a little coconut fiber, you are good to go. All right, so that is a field grass element. All right, so I'm not going to walk you through the painting. I'll just talk, I mean, I'll walk you through it, but I won't show you because it's, it's pretty straightforward. So basically what you do for the painting is you, you take your field, this is one that's already dried and painted, obviously. All right, you, uh, once it dries, you uh, put a dark brown for the dirt, dry brush that up with a medium brown and a tan to bring out the dirt texture. All right, in fact, let's zoom in there a little bit. All right, and then um, once you've done that, uh, you know, paint up your stones, unless you want to leave them whatever color they were. I like to paint them up gray with, uh, with some uh, medium gray and white uh, dry brushing. And then, you know, if you want to add static grass around the edge like I do, I do that. So the re one of the reasons I add static grass is because my baseboard here, okay, to kind of look well on my terrain board, I put a little static grass on that. And that way, when I add the individual elements, they have a little static grass around the edges of them. They kind of blend quite nicely onto this larger board, all right? And then I can configure, here's a bigger piece, I can configure them however I want, all right? So that's kind of the idea of what it looks like. This would be a great idea also if you want to do a swamp with this tall grass. Just like add a gloss, um, uh, you know, a gloss to the top of this. Um, or even some uh, weld bond watered down, like to give it a mushy wet look. This would make a great swamp terrain piece as well. So that's what I did. For the winter piece, I basically did the same approach, but instead of adding static grass at the end on my elements, what I did was I did it a little white paint around the edge to make, like it, make it look like it was dusted with glue. And then in some spots, I made my white glue, baking soda, uh, and uh, white, uh, white paint mixture for my snow. 
and I applied it in dabs around the edge and I even put some on top of the uh, the brush and kind of clumps and that's the way so if you know I live up north so I know that's the way snow settles on tall grass like that All right so that's basically how you make tall grass from coconut fiber really easy great little fun project and um, the next part of the video I'm just going to show you on, on one of my war machine boards how I utilize these and and how you can do area train like this and uh, make it work for your battlefield in terms of an actual war machine or hordes game alright so I'll show you that right now but thanks for watching this uh, quick tutorial let's go on to the next part